This is my fourth and final video of my four video series on cell activators. Coming up! Hi, my name is Susan King. I'm a full-time artist. And if this is your first visit to my channel, thanks for stopping by and welcome! Today I'll be showing you my last and final cell activator recipe and we'll be going over the dried results at the end one by one. So please join me. So these are the colors that I'll be using in this demonstration, my four video series. This one here is um, Thalo Blue by Amsterdam. This one is Transparent Yellow Medium by Amsterdam. And this one is Primary Magenta by Amsterdam. They're all um, transparent paints. These are both my varnishes that I'll be uh, testing with. Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish and Color Pour Glossy Varnish. Joe Sonia can be found um, online on Amazon. I'm not really sure in, uh, where in the US that you can get it other than Amazon. Um, I'm not really sure where else you can get it, but I'm pretty sure it's um, easy to get. Also, Color Pour Glossy Varnish is fairly easy to get. You, I got mine at Walmart in Canada. <clears throat> I'm sure that the U.S. can get it as well. I don't know if you can get this at, on Amazon. I didn't even look. But, uh, yeah, that's the two varnishes that I'll be using today in my four vi four video series the um that's for my pouring medium the paint the untinted paint that i'll be using in my pouring medium is glidden premium accent base satin i found this at um, home depot and my pillow is glidden premium white base satin also at um, home depot Okay, I'm going to try, this is going to be my concoction <laughs> for a cell activator. I'm going to try Gesso Amsterdam Paint and Zen Sir. It's a extender, latex extender. So it's a combination of both my sister's recipes. Try that. So I'm going to start off with a quarter teaspoon of gesso. Oops. And then half a teaspoon of paint. Let's see if I can get half out of here. the wrong spoon. All right, I'm going to go half and half, a quarter and a quarter, which is a half, because I already started with the wrong spoon, so finish it off. <clears throat>
going to start with a quarter teaspoon of this. This is like water. It's a lot thinner than flotol. Shake it really good. a bit of a mix first. All right, so let's start off with a quarter. We just like wa adding water to it. I think I'm gonna definitely need another quarter, so. Oh, I think that's enough. It doesn't really run in a stream. It sort of runs in a stream, but more more of a dripping. quarters of a teaspoon of water, or I mean of zensor. Three quarters of a teaspoon of zensor. Okay. And in case you didn't hear, see my other videos, zensor you can get at Home Depot. In the US and Canada. They might be slightly different, but I don't know for sure. So that's that. Okay, now on to on to my uh, what is this one? paint, gesso, and zinser. And I might have added, oh no, I didn't add water because the zinser is very liquid. So, um, it's like water. So no water, but just paint, gesso, and zinser with my color pour mix. I had to thin this up a bit because it was, I could hardly blow the last one. And I thinned it with water. And I'm running out of tiles to use, so I've got a couple of big ones for this test. You can t I can tell it's still...
pretty thick. But I'll go with it. It's my last test, so. See an air bubble. I'm using this mix. Definite halo. Definite halo. Okay. definitely works better so it's the flow trawl that's not working that great with this mix can't wait to see the jet the Josanya <clears throat> that is nice this is with the color pour some for some reason the flow trawl American flow trawl doesn't mix well with um is it just gesso? Gesso and paint. Or gesso anyway. Paint and uh flow trawl work fine together. Alright, I like this one. dinner time or dinner time <laughs> the clock needs winding up I think this would make a really nice modified one maybe I'll modify it huh. oh look at the cells Very cool. Maybe I will modify it just, 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 just for kicks. I'm going to spin some more.
It's starting to come off. I don't want to get it all over me. That's beautiful. Wow, I really like this. I love the cells in the middle here. All right, I think I, I, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Bring it down. Okay. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, on to the paint sincere just paint sincere gesso with Josanya mix. more on than the other tiles. Right, that's enough of that. I think I see two or three uh, air bubbles. bit more around the outside. I think that's good. No air bubbles that I can see, I don't think. Oh, I've seen one. It's hard to tell.
might have added too much. <laughs> but definite, definite halo. Let's get blowing this. Good. Okay, this is pretty cool looking, and again, I'm going to try and modify this. Well, actually, no. I'm going to give it a couple of spins. See what happens. There's a lot of white inside in the middle. Spread some of this white around, help it move. This is looking really nice. I think I just might modify this. Beautiful, beautiful. Very awesome. It's gorgeous. Look at all the cells. Look at all those cells. Pretty, pretty cool. I like it. So, that works unbelievably well. Okay, here's the dried results starting with uh, number one, the paint and water cell activator. This is with color pour. This is with Josonia varnish in the pouring medium. This one looks pretty good. Got a few cells, but a lot of the pill pillow showed through. And this one is okay too, but it's very dark in the middle because there was a lot of blue that came through in the middle. More blue than this one. All in all, not too bad for water and paint. Okay, these two are paint, glue, 
and water. And the paint that I'm talking about is, of course, the Amsterdam uh, black oxide paint. Um, okay, so this is the color pour. It's not too bad. It's not great. Got a few cells in the middle. It's dark, but there's a few there. And then this one is more lacing. This is the Josania. A few little cells in the middle. Again, it's dark in the middle. So not too bad. Next one is the Paint Blue and Floetrol. Color pour, not great. A few little cells in the middle. Dried dark in the middle too. This one's a Josanya, which looks pretty good. Okay, that's those two. So now to the this is just paint and flow trawl. This is just paint and flow trawl. So this is the color pour. The color pours are always on the left. The Joe Sonia is on the right. So this one got a few cells in the middle. Uh, a lot of the white came through. Could have been a bad, um, bad at uh, blowing the cell activator out. Joe Sonia. A lot of little cell, a lot of little lacing all, all around here. Cells in the middle. Not too bad. So that one was the um, paint and flow trial. Okay, the next is the gesso and water. Um, and this is what. My sister Diane, dropping paint by Diane. This is her creation, gesso water for a cell activator. I think it works pretty good. This is the color pour. It's a little bit, looks a little bit thin, but it takes on some of the color from underneath, so that's okay. And then the Josanya one is a lot better. That was a little, a uh, little, I don't know what happened in the middle there. <laughs> I must have got some air bubble or something that I didn't pop. But yeah, looks really nice for just gesso and water. I like the colors. By the way, these are all the same colors. This one is is paint, gesso, and water. So I'll added um, paint to the gesso and water cell activator. Looks pretty good. Cells and uh, a little bit of lacing. And this one looks really nice too. It's a big space in the middle, but that's okay. A little bit of cells here. It's hard to see because it's a dark. And then the lacing. It's nice. On to my next one, which is... That was paint, gesso, and water. This is paint, gesso, and flow trawl. Not so great with the uh, color pour, a few little cells, but it could have been the way I blew the cell activator over top. You know, it depends on a lot of different things, how you get, um, what results you get. This looks very nice. This is the Josanya. One big, one big cell in the middle, but I think it looks pretty good for uh, paint, gesso, and Floetrol. The next one is paint and zincer. Not great on the color pour, but there's cells in the middle, and it, but it's dark, it dried dark. A little bit of lacing. This is the Josanya. 
I think your Josanya looks really awesome. There's cells in the middle. A little bit of lacing. But this part right here, I think it's pretty, pretty nice. So this is just uh, water and, uh, no, paint and zinser. Sorry. I added, no, I didn't add water to that. Okay, so this one here now is the paint, zinser, and Floetrol, which is my sister Carol, Carol's art room. It's her creation for cell activator. Looks pretty good. Cells in the middle. Some lacing. I blew too hard in a couple of spots. But all in all, it looks pretty good. This, that's the color pour. This is the Josanya. Looks good too. Some of these are dark because uh, I probably added too much um, blue in the mix when I added them layers to the canvas or to this thing all right so this is the paint zinser and gesso this is my creation this is my mix that I come up with and I think it looks really awesome I ended up I liked them so much that I ended up modifying both of them but this was the color pour got a lot of cells on here got a cool looking stuff going on nice cells in the middle a big spot in the middle big white area but that's okay sometimes that happens it could be I added too much of the cell activator I don't know and this one's a Josanya, also awesome. I've never seen this in the middle before from any cell activator, but it, I think it looks pretty nice. So yes, I got lots of cells and lacing. There's lots of cells there. They're tiny, but they're nice. And right, whoops, I went off camera here, over here. Looks really nice, these two spots. Looks like apples or peaches in the middle. That looks like a peach. Cool. So, so they all work in some way. Um, you know, some are better than others. But uh, this leaves you with a few options in case you can't get some ingredients. At least you can... At least you can... Um, uh, at least you're able to get somewhat of a bloom out of uh, what you can find. And um, it all depends also on your the rest of the ingredients as well. Um, your pouring medium, what's in that, what, what varnish you use, what untinted paint you use. Um, do you add anything else to it? Is it too thick, too thin? The pillow, same thing. Um, whatever kind of paint you're using, is it thicker or thinner? Um, yeah, so a lot of things depend on uh, on what your ingredients are. So you know, try what you can and work with it. If you like a cell activator and that's all you're that you can get. Instead of going out and buying, you know, more, more products, try changing up your pouring medium or changing up your pillow or something. Um, use a straw to blow your, your um, cell activator over if you can't blow with your breath. Or use a hair dryer. You can use mini hair dryers. Some people use them. Anything. So, so you have to experiment. Uh, nothing is foolproof. Um, so I will let you go and, um, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. If you enjoyed these four videos, I appreciate you watching. 
and I appreciate all the comments and I appreciate, um, you know, the new subscribers I get. So um, if you do want to watch another video of mine, they should be popping up on the screen. So have a great day. Bye for now.